Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to uh, the short story, which uh, I'm moving on in my travels. We've been to Spain, and we've been to the American West, and now we're going over to Ireland. Oh, we went to Scotland as well. And um, we're moving across to Ireland now. I found out that uh, I'm half Irish, um, an errant father that I never knew, and uh, he turned out to be Irish. So I've got Irish blood in my veins, as well as Viking. And I'm going to sing you a couple of songs tomorrow about that. Um, but tonight, um, perhaps a bedtime story, in fact, um, when we went over in 2018 to Bally Castle on the Causeway coast and travelled around. Um, we stayed in the beautiful little cottage right next to the sea and I had a dream. And so this is a very short story. It's, I think it's about five minutes or so and I hope you enjoy it anyway. It's about my belief in the potential of all children. Um, whether they appear to fit into the system or not. So this is it. Sitting at the window of Carrickmore Cottage at Ballycastle, yards from the sea, on the Causeway coast, with a belly full of porridge and a cup of tea. The sea is slate grey and there is a continual roar that is typical of the sound of the sea around Britain, quite different from the more gentle lapping of the Mediterranean. There's a sea mist far off, clinging to the lower reaches of Rathlin. That's the long island out to sea. I had a lovely, comfortable night in smooth, soft, white bed linen with a checkered woolly blanket thrown over us. I awoke refreshed, and yet, and yet, I had memories of puzzling dreams. Time is suspended or different in dreamland, and I have no idea of the length of this labyrinthine slumbering, but I remember the boy. The Irish boy with the dark hair and the blue eyes. A face defiant yet frustrated, full of vibrant life and yet with sadness. All this in the contours of his lean, ruddy cheeks and in his hazel eyes, hazel blue eyes. His body was wiry and he could run like the wind. But already his young life was telling him not to trust anyone, not to be soft, even though his heart ached to do both. I watched his teacher get frustrated with him as he showed every sign of being completely immune to any understanding of mathematics. But it was deeper. He had little concept of numbers. That part of his brain did not compute, even though he could calculate pretty well whether the height was suitable for him to jump from a tree to the ground, even though he knew he got less of the pie and chips than his brother, and even though he counted out the shells that he foraged from the beach and studied their contours and lines, regular patterns he could discern and appreciate, like the lines of ridges in the hard, wet beach as the sea left it in its rhythmic departure, movement and shapes. He would count the plovers as they took flight in a flock and he counted the number of times his flat slate stone touched the sea as it flew across the water and then sank. He had managed a sevener. But here, 
in school. Faced with an irate maths teacher and a bank of numbers, his mind was blank. Instructions fell on his ears without penetration. His English teacher would have found this absolutely baffling, as she knew him to be a gifted writer with an innate understanding of the psychology of characters such as Iago in Othello, which they were studying in English literature. I was suddenly sitting with the boy in an effortless shift of scene which can happen in our dreams. And I felt a great desire to help the boy with his blind spot. I know just how you are because I was exactly the same at school, I said to him. Don't let this make you doubt yourself or develop a hatred of science and maths. For you will find they are the secrets of the universe along with language, music, and the arts, arts of all kinds. You already calculate angles and patterns and all kinds of maths every time you climb a tree, or go down to the sea, or ride your bike, or jump across the shoreland rocks. You just need to get used to numbers. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. To start with, let's get some pebbles and we can work on it together. And I will help you to let your fear go so that your intelligence will blossom in all fields of your endeavour. The boy was quite difficult because even now he had a pride a defiance and a wildness which I deeply admired. And I spent time with him, for I felt his soul and I honoured it. While I've been writing, Rathlin Island has completely disappeared in the sea mist. The gulls fly lazily and the shades of blue-grey are filled with life and constant change. Yeah, that was, um, I don't know if you've had that experience when you wake up and, and you can remember the whole thing and it's just, I just wrote it down, you know, from the dream. And it was similar with the song that I wrote and it's again about having faith and belief in, in a child. Um, my name is actually Kathleen and for some reason this again I woke up and this was more or less a fully formed song which I just had to write down. It has a chorus and uh, it's a nice uh, good night song. It's called Kathleen and the chorus is Ah Kathleen be good while I'm singing. Kathleen be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing and I'll show you a shooting star. I'll just get the note. Ah, Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. Kathleen, be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. And I'll show you a shooting star. You're only a little one, sure enough. Your clothes are all hand-me-downs. Descended from gypsies with moon in your eyes. The music within you's a beautiful sound. Chorus. Ah, Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. Kathleen, be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. And I'll show you a shooting star. Your curls are like springs of fiery red. 
your sturdy pattering feet. I watch over your slumbering head, but your mummy must busk now on this old city street. Ah, Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. Kathleen, be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. And I'll show you a shooting star. You can hear the wind and the rain in me songs. You can hear the rising sun. You can hear the lost and lonely heart. But my darling, your own song's already begun. Ah, Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. Kathleen, be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. And I'll show you a shooting star. Last time, join in with me. Ah, Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. Kathleen, be good for your ma. Kathleen, be good while I'm singing. And I'll show you a shooting star. So, that's uh, about it for tonight. And tomorrow I will return with some more tales from Ireland and some songs that I wrote about Ireland. Okay then, have a good night. Night night, see you later. <laughs>